introducing new team or new member is very common in the corporate world so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to do it more professionally so that the new employee loves it and here you can see here i have added the image of two employees and the name and the designation given below and i have given the heading as our team and when you click it will expand and it will give you more details it says our professional team and then you can write more details on each employee and their experience likewise i have added one more with some gray background and with some different images here so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes under rectangle select rounded corners rectangle and make it a less curved you can drag outside this one let it be this much shape outline make it no outline and height give as 6.1 and width as 6.5 inches then align center align middle then I'm going to cut half of this rectangle for that I'm going to select one more rectangle draw the rectangle exactly over half of the rounded corner rectangle let me just change this color so I'm going to keep only the visible part which is blue one and I'm going to delete the right side so first select the rectangle then the gray rectangle under format merge shapes say subtract so you end up getting only half of the or the left side rectangle only then go to insert shapes add one more rounded corner rectangle let me just change the color shape outline make it no outline i'll make it more curved and i'm going to delete this much part let me just align middle so I'm going to cut this part so first again select the blue half rectangle and then the gray rectangle again format shape merge shape say subtract so you end up getting this shape now now press ctrl D to duplicate it and rotate flip horizontal and just place it here so you got this shape ready now the next step is to add the images onto this uh, shapes first of all i'm selecting this shape the left side right mouse click go to format shape under fill select picture fill and then go to insert select from file and i have selected some images here i'll just say employee 10 open so this particular image has been inserted here then i'm going to add another image uh, onto this one again go to picture fill change to a different which is i'll just select this and say okay so you have got two employees selected but this is not uh aligned properly for that I will untick this rotate with shape and then I'll start increasing offset right top bottom also for example if I start offset left you can see here and offset right you can just increase further so that make sure that the face is visible and then i'm going to select this image again i'm going to remove untick this and then again i will increase it so that the employee face look visible so this is okay so you can see here i've added two employee images and then in between i'm going to add some text now let me just add the animation to this i'm going to select the first one 
go to animations enable the animation pane and add animation go down and select lines so instead of going down you have to select this particular you can see here the red dot just bring it till the end of the slide so when I play it goes something like this so double click this I'm going to remove the smooth start smooth end maybe a little bit of bonds and a little bit of smooth start and timing make it medium no problem so it goes something like this and then I'm going to select this animation painter I'm going to click on the right side image but instead of going right it should left it should go to right so let me just select this and move the other side of the slide and this should happen with previous so if I play both are happening together you can see this one here this is somewhat maybe a slow we can make it more faster also so let me make them fast I'm going to select both of this right mouse click you can say effect options and timing I can make it to fast and just say ok so I think this speed is ok then I'm going to add text for that go to insert text box and I'm going to type a text here I will just say my professional team or our professional team that would be better and I'm going to change the font to century gothic or any other font which you like it increase the size make it bold and team color I'm going to give some different color maybe kind of orange and then exactly placed in the center so if I see this one if I play it comes something like this now I can give the animation to the text also for that I can go to again animations here I can select more entrance effect and here you can see here we have got some different split is there so I can just select the split and just say ok and effect options instead of vertical in I'll say vertical out it comes like this and this should also happen with previous now if I play again you can see here our professional team also it's coming with the images and then if you want you can type some detailed text here I'll just use some Latin text century gothic I can reduce the size give some gray color and the same animation effect I'm going to give animation animation painter click on this one so if I play now you can see here and if you want you can delay a little bit 0.25 seconds maybe yeah you can see here so our design is ready our animation ready and if you want to do some beautification work like example I want to give some gradient fill on top of this uh, image for that I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and then I can just remove this animation or let it be I'll go to right mouse click go to format picture and I can fill this with some gradient fill let me just select linear and this one so below I'm going to select some a blue image or kind of a purple whatever which one better and here I'm going to select white but 
I will remove full transparency and put it on top of this one. So this actually has to be done before you do the animation. You can see here it got a different look. For this also you can do it the same thing. Gradient fill. And here I'm going to select some pink color and put it on top of this image. So you can see here the difference how much the gradient is uh, making but you need to do this before you do the animation so if i play this is not coming because the animation i have not added That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.